Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Next I plan to show you that how to assemble this Toyota's VVTI system and here I have these parts what this, this uh, system normally includes there is this camshaft and this assembly works also in single VVTI system or those current new one dual VVTI systems assemblies and 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 first that part is this this cover plate in this system and and here we have this sprocket for the goes to this this cam cam shaft and this assembly starts so that that first I install this sprocket in in that cam shaft and and there is it goes only in one way and when it goes in there it is quite deep and there is this it is very well in here in this this way not not in this way and it goes very deeply in here okay good and then when it, when we have installed this this part we choose next part okay and then when we have that part in in here it goes in that nicely and when we rotate this camshaft it goes deeper and this part moves in there and this is also loosened okay and next next part what I plan to install is this is this part what is in this core module unit and there is idea that when I take this parts away that there is first this valve ventil like small piston where goes this, this spring in this way and this this small valve controls this VVTI system works and it goes in in that hole in there and when this valve goes in that hole then this VVTI system it has it is locking status and then oil pressure removes that up and then this this VVT system this oil pressure removes that valve and then this adjusting chase and in that holes in there oil moves and this VVTI system works with oil and then there is this core module and there is idea that when I take this central part away we have this this is the, like this outer metallic part but also moves and in here inside we have this this central part and and the central part is it is multi multi dimension work it is not symmetric because there is hole and also these other parts are different and and these holes are in there that oil moves in there and this is the next part that I install in that system and it's quite easy to assemble and there is this metallic pin in here but I'm not, I am not now touching in this black bolt this pin and this pin goes goes in these holes in here these holes in here and when I adjust that in, in this way this, I only rotate that little bit and suddenly it goes deeper in that way and then we know that it is in right position and then we check it is in very clear and when I install that in strongly it is in there is hole between those but when I rotate that suddenly it locks like Rubik cube this is actually quite similar than Rubik cube assembly okay and then next part is that that there is this other side moves and there is this hole 
in that hole in there. And then when it goes in that position, then this locking pin in here goes in deeper and it locks this movement. But now when there is no that pin, this valve that up this pillow sprocket moves. Okay. And next part is that we need to assemble next this this part. Okay, and then we assemble that part. There is also a trick when I rotate. There is this small metallic pin in here. I saw in that part, meta, in this metal black bolt, this small pin is to adjust there, and it goes, it goes in here. When I check, there is the certain place. When I rotate that, that comes out, and in here. Here is place, yeah, in here, that hole. This part goes in this hole. And then it's easy to take that and rotate. There is this metallic pin in here, and it goes in that hole. And then I only rotate that in here, and adjust in this way, and then it locks like Rubik cube. And now this is almost ready. And this part moves still, and and this next part is to install this valve in there. And it happens so that when we look in there inside, I need only drop this valve in that hole. And then, then when I move that a bit, it it goes in there deep. Now it goes, and then this spring, what is in here, and it goes in that hole. And next we have left only those, those special sealants, and these parts, and next I saw those parts. Okay, and next these parts are quite interesting, because they are yellow, and at that point goes to against metallic and this is actually sealant and gasket. This seals oil move and this is the the gasket and then there is small copper this small, small copper spring and this spring goes so that when I rotate it goes in here so nicely and there are those places. And, and small holes in there and there. And when I adjust that in here, it goes in this way. And then I need to only take small creep. And then, then I take this PVT system and all of these holes. That one, 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 and that one. There goes this. This gasket, and there is idea that this this yellow blue material must go this with this uh, sealant face, and, and in that voice, that area, this area is this this oil basement, and I move that part in in this way, and then I only pick, and now it goes in there, and this is okay, and then next part it is in here. I need only spring in there. Small spring in this way and in that part now this I rotate that in 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 this position. And this copper is in that area. It goes in there and then next. Okay, next is there, and it goes in here, and here this face is the oil face, and in that face I in interest, and then I only press, and there is gasket, okay, and then next, next.
next in there. Next is there and it goes in here. And now this area in here is this this oil phase and spring is copper spring is in against that. It is in there. And then next one. Okay, it goes in here. Now it this goes in this way. And here is this here and it went there. And then next one. Okay, and then I take next next spring and it goes in here and I, I rotate that in this position. Now it's there and then the final one is left in here and it goes in this side in here. Okay, now all caskets and sealants are there. The next part is to take this, this cover and the cover goes only one way. And it goes so that, that those holes are in specific location and then when I rotate a little bit suddenly this right place is okay. Okay now there is almost all I need to only One way, not in this way. Not in, not in that way. It's one position. Okay, now, now all hole, holes are okay. And then, then I take my screw. What goes in there? That's more rotation. One. Next one. And then next one. And then I need to thicken these bolts. And then of course this mine correct bolt. What go what we thicken really thick. It is something 80 or 100 newton. Okay. Okay. Now, now I need to only tick them those, and this assembly is ready. And next, I tick them those. Okay. And then, then we tick them these bolts first. And for that thickening, we need 10 millimeter socket. And friends. And then I. I start to take them in here. Okay, and here you continue. And help and then this part up there. Okay. And then I do this. Here is this kind of place where I can where I can insert that tool that you get until this certain place. Then, then I take the more this this balls in here. Something moment like ten to fifteen. Okay.
Now these bolts are thick then. Okay, and these are still they move a little bit. Okay, now they are fine. And then we add this this correct bolt where we need 14 mm. It's very uncommon sides in in Toyota and these bolts must thick and really thick. Okay, first I use that tool. Okay and here and then then I change the tool to bigger one because I need more force and I I change this rotation in here. Then I insert this tool in here. In this way, there is in here, and then I I use this longer pipe that I, I have more power in here, and then I insert that tool in here. This way. Then I take the, this mold. And this bolt must be really thick, something like 100 newton. This part is ready. All bolt thicken, and this this VVT system is ready for this installation to engine. Okay, and thank you for watching this video.